Well, I'm extremely happy with this 102-inch uh, whip uh, antenna installation. It's the first time I'm actually getting some stuff on my CB radio. First time I turned it on. I actually tried this thing. Uh, what is this? Uh, three foot, almost. Like you can a rubber ducky, you can add on to the antenna. It don't work. This one. Let's see if it turns out. It works this time. Always getting getting something on. <laughs> so this antenna has made a huge difference. I wasn't getting a damn thing before without this antenna. 102 inch. So <laughs> that's the one you want, man. That's the one you want. There's no doubt about it. Now I'm a little curious as to if I bend it down. It's the first time I've been trying it. And uh Get it on. I'm curious if it picks up like that. But I bet you it picks up like that better than any of these rubber ducky antennas. Still picking up. Still picking up. You know, the best thing about these antennas, too, is like, uh, first you can fold it down like that. With you know not being over the roof line, they still do way better. So more than likely, I'm going to get one of them for the El Camino. Probably a quick detach to put back there because a quick detach because if I got to load this thing up, I don't have. I, sometimes they load it up where it's sticking out this far with wood. I have to pull that antenna off. Another thing is, I advise people not getting stuff on eBay. Because even though it's a little cheaper, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, I'm not eBay, Amazon, I meant to say. Um, I forgot what it was, the right channel I think it was I got the, the cable from. This cable came from Amazon. They said it worked with that ball mount. And uh, when I picked up, when I got the ball mount, from Amazon. This piece wasn't in here, so I had to pick it up from eBay. Another thing, I'm like, man, I think Amazon's good for buying like good and cheap C60 from and uh, something like that, but they're slipping. And uh, you need, you see how those wires are like that? You need those ends, you need the terminal ends, not the coaxial ends, unless you're going to cut the coaxial end or something like that so you can you know attach it to the um, the ball mount so this sucker is freaking now I might get a real CB with uh, sideband and all that other garbage I don't know maybe mount it way up there off the roof or something because um I think this is gonna, just going to be a hard top, but I've never, I never got, I never got any freaking, I never got any CV um, signals in with even, like I said, even this antenna. And I figured this one might pick something up. Nah, nah, not really. The little one this big. I can't get nothing. So, instead of screwing around, I'm not sure, you know, if some of the other ones work really good like that. But I heard I heard this antenna works better than anything. The, the old 102 whip antenna. And like I said, I don't I think people aren't using them because they're so damn long. But they're actually a lot shorter. You got them tied up like that. You know what I mean? They're actually a lot shorter. I wasn't getting a damn thing. That's the first. I, I tried like channel 9. And uh, 10. Then I hit 11. I didn't even go through the channels yet.
See that? All kinds of sheep. I figured there'd be in this. This is north central Florida, man. Something on here, too. You gotta remember, this is like a really cheap one, too, man. They got your cigarette lighter plug in. Something coming through faint on this. Now, if I put the antenna up. <laughs> I gotta tighten that ball up. Holy shit. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Didn't realize it was loose. I guess they leave it kind of loose. That's this one right here. That's this one right here. That's got to be tightened up. <laughs> yeah, the ball, you know, what was bugging me with all the YouTube videos, it's pretty obvious that with the split in the ball, you can mount it all kinds of different ways. You can have it, you know, it can go any which way from Sunday. I mean, you can have this on the roof, and if you turn this around, this 180, this will be pointing straight up, you know. You can have it that way. What I didn't understand was, how do you attach the wire to it when they sold me? They sold me that. That's Amazon for you. And Amazon's been, I tell you, they've been screwing up lately, man. Like, even when I got um, 12 quarts of braking oil for the cam, I got 11 quarts in a box. I mean, it's a bunch of little bullshit happening. So, I think I'm staying, I think it's called the right channel where I picked up the wire from. And I think uh, when I get another, uh, I get a setup for this, I'm going to go to them. But I can, I can hear these guys, no problem. I figured there was a lot of activity out here. This is this is um, this is basically Redneck County. You know, it's it's uh, even though the area I, right in my immediate area got built up, this is uh, you know this was actually my immediate area it used to be real Redneck County too. I'm gonna tighten that bolt up. Okay, that was a 14 millimeter bolt. And uh, the other thing is, I should show this to you too. Um, Obviously, since you got the ground and the power, um, the power being to the antenna, and you don't really, pretty much, these install all the time with really great SWR without a meter, without just a nothing. But this, that's your power, right? When you drill this hole in here to the body, you got to leave enough room around the nut to. Um, so it doesn't, this nut doesn't touch and short it, short every, anything out. This is your ground here. This is your power. And actually, on these connectors, I put a little, um, I don't know, it's door lube, um, lubrication that, you know, it's like a spray. It's sort of like a souped up WD-40 to uh, keep the electrical connections from getting rusty or anything like that. But again, you want to have enough room around this knot where this it also enough room around this knot to um, um, make sure that the damn thing um, can be accessed with um, uh, what do you call it um, your uh, what do you call it damn thing you know a wrench you know a socket maybe I should double check this knot too I think this one's on here tight though but it seems to be when I tighten this up 14 millimeter well this nothing's going on <laughs> So, <laughs> but man, that thing's working great. <laughs> it's working great. I guess you could put a little stronger spring on it too, maybe. I don't know. But, but then again, this is, I don't know. It's a stainless steel spring. You know, if you really wanted to, like, say that spring was a little, um, you know, weak or something could do 
Just take some Gorilla Tape, go around here, and then on the end of the Gorilla Tape, take um, uh, one of your zip ties, just so that the Gorilla Tape doesn't unravel. And that would kind of brace this up and still allow it to move, you know. If I find out it's a little wavy, a little springing around too much, I might do that. But these whip antennas, just a plain whip and nothing, you know, nothing special. These are these are the best way to go, the eight and a half foot uh, whip, the 102 inch. Man, that thing, this thing is, I don't know what the heck's, I gotta plug in here. Good to go, man. Good to go. And yeah, you know, I was thinking too, um, up in uh, up in Tennessee, uh, where I got that property, the cell phone service is pretty damn spotty. As a matter of fact, if uh, I'm going to use a cell phone um, on the property, I'm going to have to put a tower up there with a booster antenna, some kind of repeater, to get get any kind of signal. Now, if you're driving down the road. And you're in between mountains forget it you're not going to get there's basically no cell phone service out there at all that's going to come in handy and you're going to need this kind of antenna <laughs> with some kind of problem so anyway very very happy i got this i was thinking you know i'm going to go old school <laughs> old school is the way to go man it's a big antenna but like I said, you could just you could fold it down, and it's not going to be any higher than your roof line, and it still seems to work pretty good, even folded down. So, yeah, that thing. There's no comparison. This thing, this thing. I mean, maybe it does do a little bit, but I never picked up nothing with this damn thing yet, ever. I have never picked up anything. I haven't picked up one damn CB or around here. So, there's a little onyx the cat down here. I haven't picked up one until I installed this antenna and now I'm getting all kinds of stuff. That was a, basically right before I put the video on, I put channel 9 on, emergency channel, didn't hear nothing, went 10, 11, boom, 11. And it, I got several channels that are, it's got activity on it. I figured there was a lot of people talking out here. And I don't know how far I'm picking them up away from, but it's probably pretty far because Florida is pretty fat, flat. Even though I'm in the hill country, it's relatively flat. It could be... It could be 10 miles away for all I know. 